How's everybody doing? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? All right, so my name is Daryl Patterson. A lot of people know me on Instagram as I'm the real DP. Um, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I've been in Atlanta for now three years. July makes my third year here in Atlanta. I came up here on a mission, so I love to talk to the young youth about coming out, being, and trying to get to a place that everybody wants to be. Anybody want to work for themselves? A show of hands. All right, anybody not want to work for themselves? All right, so good. So when I, when I ask that question, I always ask that question, I always ask, what is it that you want to do? What is it that you like to do? If you want to work for yourself, you have to find something that you like to do. What is it that you like to do that gets you going, that, that gets you going in the morning? So what I like to do, I like to work out. Um, and I came up with a program called HEAT. Anybody heard the HEAT challenge? I give away $100,000 a year. Anybody heard of that? No. All right, so look, real quick, I'm going to plug that heat challenge on Instagram. Look for that. I give away $5,000 five times a year. Uh, I'm sorry, $5,000 to five people during this program. And it's the person who loses or has the best transformation overall. So if you guys are looking to change your lives or look better, I don't know anybody sitting down that says, I look the best I can right now. Anybody? I heard that, baby. <laughs> but no, I, I give away $5,000 uh, to five people, and that's just to sign up for what you, what you uh, decide to do, and that's to transform your body. But what I want to talk to you guys about is being an entrepreneur. So anybody that wants to be an entrepreneur, like I said, one of the things that you guys want to make sure that you're looking at is finding something that you like to do. You never want to go to work and drag. Trust me, I've done it. I have did it for 10 years, okay? Before I even got into fitness, I played basketball in college. I didn't know you guys like, you're a little short to play basketball. But I played basketball in college, and that ambition on the court took me far in life, OK? And what I'm saying and what I mean by that is I got to a point, I had two jobs. I graduated in four years with two degrees. Two, four years, <laughs> two degrees, OK? <laughs> now, to say, and, and this is the thing I want a lot of people, a lot of people to understand, when you go, some of you guys are like, okay, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a lawyer, I want to make all this type of money. Me, if you're a basketball player or any type of sport, sometimes we have no idea what we want to do. We just want to go to the next level in the sports, in the sports realm. So I went, played basketball my senior year. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to the NBA, I can go overseas, but I didn't want to do anything like that. So I signed up for a management program. Went there, worked for seven years, worked my way up, became operations manager at Lowe's. Got fired after seven years uh, because I came back late from a trip. Take that, right. So in that story in itself, what I want you guys to take out of that, at any point in time, no matter if you work for a company or not, your value to that company means nothing. They will let you go at any point, any drop, any dime. I have a four-year-old son. My son was about to be born at this point in time, and they let me go. Okay, so I went home. Every day, like I do, um, after, I, after I got done work, uh, working, I went to the gym. Sat there, a girl came up to me, she said, hey, I see you work out with a lot of people, and this is just stuff that I did, did for fun. Didn't charge anybody. She's like, hey, can you help me lose weight? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, uh, I ain't got no job. How much can you pay? She's like, $30. I'm like, all right, great. $30 a session? Not bad. She's like, no, $30 a week. <laughs> Again, I had no job, so I took that opportunity. Okay, what I did with that opportunity was I turned that opportunity into what you now see as a career. I've been in Atlanta for three years. I drove back and forth. Anybody know Portia Williams? Okay, I helped train her. All right, so I drove back and forth. I used to live in Valdosta, Georgia. That's about three hours from me. I drove back and forth, three hours there, three hours back, just to train her. I met her the first time I came up here, didn't know I wasn't from Atlanta. Gave her my card, signed into my Instagram, made her follow me. She said, hey, I want to train. I said, no problem. What day? She said, Monday. I'm like, all right. Uh, I got clients at this point in time. So end up getting her to train Friday through Sunday. I drove three hours up here to train her. Mind, mind you, I didn't get paid to come up here and train her. 
what she said, she said, hey, I'll shout you out, you know, on, on my Instagram and things like that. Again, drove three hours to come up here and train, three hours back. This, I did this for about six months, ladies and gentlemen, not getting paid, but what I'm talking to you guys about sacrifice. What I'm talking to you guys is about ambition. What I'm talking to you guys about is not giving up. I took that opportunity, got on a platform to show the world what I can do, okay? Three years later, I now own a gym. I own a probably three six-figure businesses from a three-year of uh, somebody telling me, leave my building, okay? So what, what, I'm trying to get to, what I'm trying to get you guys to understand is if you find something that you like to do, make sure you put your all into it. Never give up when, you, when, you, when somebody tells you that you can't do anything, all right? I want to get you guys up real quick and get you guys energized. I got a few things that I want to give away. One of the things I want to know, who, who knows some of the newest dancers? You were the first one to raise your hand. Come on up here real quick. <laughs> Come on up here real quick. <laughs> so what, 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 what dance are we going to do real quick? You don't really want. So I, I'm 35 years old, okay? So I'm trying to do all the new dances and the, all that kind of stuff. What, what's the dance you got? Huh? New, okay, so stand over here. Because I've been trying to milli walk. I can't, can't quite, quite, quite. Can't, but I want everybody to stand up. Everybody stand up. What song we got, DJ? Hey, how I go? Hey, hey, hey. Now y'all turn. Go. Hey. All right, okay, okay, okay. Now. So, hold oh, on, oh, one second, one second. We need Atlanta music. Let me, you got some Migos? Migos? Bad and bougie. Hey, look at Nico, what they do. Hey. No, it's no competition. No, it's not a No, it's not a competition. Not a competition. You want the hat? Hey, why you get the pig? Well, it's me. <laughs> Throw it up, throw it up. Same color t 